Hi Simmers! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make Two. So today I wanted to show you my version of the Latin Villa. I did really like the Latin Villa that came with the game that is unlocked when you complete the salsa dancing hobby. I've actually done a video tour of that house on a premium lot in a separate video on my channel, but I thought it would be fun to build my own version of it. So as you can see here, it is located next to the bridge and across from the car dealership in my town, Sims Landing. So if we go into the house, basically the thing with the Latin Villa that comes with the game is that you cannot get any of the furniture items in the home store just yet. You have to build the house and put the items in your inventory in order to use them in other buildings in your town. So basically, what I had to do was build the Latin Villa several times and then demolish it room by room in order to get all the furniture items in my inventory so that I could use them how I wanted. So what I ended up with was an empty lot and I had the, the Latin Villa specialized fence and sidewalk, so I kept those, but then basically just built the house over again from scratch. What about the pool at the back? Yeah, the pool at the back comes with the Latin Villa and the pool paving and all of that as well. So that I did keep, actually. I kept that largely the same. But the house itself is brand new. So I kind of wanted to do a house based on the traditional Venezuelan style of having a house centered around a central, centered around a central courtyard. So as you can see, as you walk into the house through these double front doors, you enter a long front hallway. And that hallway has a staircase up to the second floor and then also a door off to the left, which will lead to the living room. There's a door at the very end, which will lead to this powder room. And then a door back here, which leads into the kitchen. So let's start with the kitchen. The kitchen has all the usual implements that come with the Latin Villa as built in the game, including the countertops and the dining room table and chairs. One thing I wanted to point out is that on this countertop with the shelf with the plates and chili peppers and garlic, you can actually put an item on the counter underneath the shelf, which is not something that you can do normally with countertops with shelves in the game, but for some reason with the Latin Villa version of the countertops, you can. I point out that aspect in my video of the Latin Villa, the standard Latin Villa. So from the kitchen, you can enter the courtyard here, and for the doorways into the courtyard, I kept them sort of open doorways, but used the version with streamers that comes from the New Year's Quest. And also from the kitchen, you can enter this study and office in the back, which has some of the green armchairs, end table and lamp, and the social points computer that comes with the house. Through there, you can then enter the dining room slash living room area, which has the same table and chairs, as well as couches, coffee table, TV, and this fireplace that came with the Latin Villa. And you've got um, rugs on the floor. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I doubled up the rugs so that they could occupy more space beneath the furniture items. So for instance, I've got these two white rugs side by side so that they would fill that space uh, between the sofas and fill the space underneath the dining table and chairs. And just to point out at the back, as I said, the pool area is largely the same as what you would get in the game, in the game's version of the house. But I went with this orange archway, which also came from the New Year's Quest update, just to add a bit more of a festive atmosphere. So as you take these stairs up to the second floor, you see that it's just a two bedroom house. So on the left here is the main bedroom and it's got a big walk-in dressing area at the back here. And that then opens onto uh, its own bathroom. Then on the right here, you've got just another small study room with bookcase and green armchairs and computer. 
And then this is the second bedroom. Both bedrooms, by the way, have fireplaces and other furniture items. And then this bedroom does not have a walk-in closet area, but it does have its own bathroom. I love how big the bedrooms are. It does feel very Latin styled. Yeah. Normally my instinct is to cram rooms full of furniture and plants and things like that. But this one, I tried to resist that urge and just kept everything as spacious and open as possible. I think you were very successful. Cool. So if you guys liked this house, then feel free to like the video or talk to me in comments below. And if you want to visit the house, then you'll need to become neighbors through friending on Facebook or Game Center. And links for those are in the video description below or in our channel description. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel because more videos will be coming soon.